Hey everyone, good afternoon, it's Tom Sidney Bushnell aka Numbers here from Sight Club. I just wanted to um, I just wanted to check in with everyone really, just give you some uh, thoughts that I've had just uh, just in the last, well probably the last day actually. Hey, how you doing Don? Good to see you buddy. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to to um, to touch base and uh, sorry I'm just putting this here so um there we go yeah i just wanted to catch up um say hi and um i was thinking of something yesterday so i've entitled this the best is yet to come and that comes to 228 in numbers and those new viewers um welcome uh do click and like and share and subscribe uh here at site club and also on my second channel the tom numbers show um you'll see interviews with well-known guests, people like Michael Gambon, Matt Letizia. Um, uh, we've got Janine there, Terrible by Janine. Um, but check out both channels and, and like and subscribe if you would, because it really helps. Um, but I've been thinking on this this uh, this theme of the best is yet to come, comes to 228 in numbers. When I talk about numbers, A is one, B is two, C is three, D is four. Hey everyone, and we, yeah, exactly. Hey Steph. Hey Mega, uh, I couldn't read your name. M. Hi. Um, but I've been thinking about this. <clears throat> now, if people can see this, if they can grasp this, then I do literally believe this is the best time to ever be alive. And some of you will get that immediately when I say it, and some might say, well, what does, what does Tom mean? What does Tom Numbers mean by that statement? And I'll tell you what I do mean by that. So, if people have tried to do things in their life in an ambitious way, in a creative way, in a, in a self-fulfilling way, we all are unique and we all have things we'd like to do. And then the kind of mundane of life can get in the way and we, a lot of people have given up on their dreams and their hopes and their desires. But uh, Matt Letizia, a great patriot, and see the episode I did with him and Rachel. Um, hey Steph. Yes, so I want to address that. Um, back it's actually 17. So, um, so we've all had you know the ups and downs of, of life for this 3D mortality. But as we are moving through this period of time, this period of awakening, of transition, it's really in my understanding and the evidence that I see, it's the greatest time to be alive. And the reason for that is because the world is changing. Literally, our reality is changing. We are going into the golden age. We are going into the age of Aquarius. We are going into the, the thousand years of peace. We are going into this new age. Um, and I have a feeling and a taste of it and a vision of it. I see it. Um, I talk about it a lot on my on my channel but I wanted to express this to you my regular viewers um, and my loyal viewers the ones that are always here with me and I love you all and I'm so grateful for your support because without my audience then it should just be me talking into a camera but it's so great to get your feedback and your energy and I feel it and I love your support and I'm grateful for it and I hope you feel my my love and gratitude to, towards you all of you um, and uh, sharing the numbers they come i think it's a responsibility i have you know um the numbers come to me and it's a responsibility for me to put it out and share it with those because well those of you that listen um and those that will come as well in future um and president trump has spoken many times about this phrase the transition to greatness and the transition to great transition to greatness is 282 it's 88 miles per hour and that is all part of back to the future movies but the reality of this i've been thinking well what is it what's changing so we are going through this the, the frequencies the vibrations the energies are changing and that's why it's in a chaotic stage you know, uh, a flux the flux capacitor you know it's, it's in a stage of flux at the moment um but depending on what you focus on there's a great phrase where attention goes energy flows and i believe that is true energy is 74 74 is gematria 74 is tarot 74 is jesus 74 is english 74 is simple 74 is london 74 is delorean the time machine um so as we 
as we go through this period, if we focus on light, if we focus, we're in April 56, light, if we focus on things, light is also healing, healing is 56, heal is God, it's game, it's card, it's flag, but healing, the process of healing, of being healed, healing is 56, which is light, which is April. And as we go through this process, this, this great event in history, the thing is we're all going to get kind of swept along by it, but I do believe that there's a meritocracy to it as well. So meaning if you're working on uh, being your best self and progressing and moving forward, then you're going to be blessed. The universe will reward that uh, to you. And I'm sure many are feeling that already. But um, uh, as you move through this time, we're going to get we're going to realize that this is the greatest time to be alive. So if you're at a crossroads, if you're thinking, well, what do I do? To, you know, what, what I would suggest is for people to take a leap of faith, as it says in the Inception film, to take a leap of faith. And that leap of faith is individual to you. You know what your leap of faith is. As soon as I've said it, you know the answer, okay? As soon as I said those words, take a leap of faith, you automatically knew what your own leap of faith is. So I would encourage you to do what that is. Um, you're your greatest gift, you know, your connection with God, with source, with energy, however you want to call it. Um, that's the power of, uh, of connecting with, with the higher dimensions and, and realizing who we are. So this 3D game we've been in is beginning to dissolve before our eyes and the world will know that in time. So you're ahead of the curve. And it's always good to be ahead of the curve. You're here, you're here on Site Club, you're here with Tom Numbers, and I'm giving you, you know, some some codes, some some metaphors, some some learning, some things from God, basically from source, you know, that comes through me and I give it out to you guys. Um, so my encouragement to you would be to recognize and take that leap of faith. Faith is 44, 44 is Abraham, it's hope. Uh, we saw that Elon Musk purchased Twitter for forty-four billion dollars. Um, forty-four billion dollars actually comes to one ninety-eight. President Trump comes to calm before the storm. This is the calm before the storm, everyone. We've had a few storms, you know, it's a bit, it's, but there is a calm before the storm. And I would encourage you to do whatever you want to do, whether it's take a break, whether it's create something, whether it's to come on YouTube, what, whatever it is, you know what you, your heart desires. And I would encourage you to strike and to um, and to uh, take advantage of this momentous time in history because it truly is it truly is um, if you're able to do that then I promise you that was perfect see I knew when to pick you see that I knew when to pick the phone up um, I promise you blessings at the other side um, and I would encourage you to do that because the best is yet to come um, my life is it's always, I've always had a good life I don't have had challenges but I've got to say this two year period of this great awakening has been um, amazing and it's just the tip of the iceberg, the best is yet to come. So I wanted to offer that support to everyone in what you're doing. Um, so God bless, I'm gonna say cheerio, but uh, I'll see you soon with some other great episodes coming up. All right, God bless, take care, bye.